Juventus stand at the dawn of yet another league campaign. The overwhelming question being, of course, how ready are they? It's a great time to be a fan. Smiles are beaming, expectations are up. They've been deprived of the game during the off-season. It feels like an eternity. New hopes, new faces, but the same old game. That match day feeling is well and truly back. The stands here, the Corva, as the locals call them, make for quite an impressive sight. All in support of the grand old lady of the Italian game. So everybody starts on nothing. Last season is in the past. They are all equals. Well, with star names and new faces, both on the pitch and on the bench, let's hope for a, a more attractive, competitive and unpredictable league. Uh, a better product for all to see. Although I'm beginning to think that we're asking for the impossible. We'll get lots to analyse and debate come what may as ever. And this ought to get us off to a busy start. I've been waiting for this quite a while, and I know you have too, Peter. So, here we go. So, it's down to business here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? It has to be Aaron Ramsey. Well, we shouldn't forget the dreadful leg break he suffered, but... He's rebuilt his career to a very high level again, and besides all his midfield quality, he's become a scorer of some great goals. OK, interesting. Quadrado does well to read it and intercepts. Chiesa. It's Ramsey! Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Benucci. Chiesa. Danger averted for now. And that's been one straight back. And here's Ramsey. Key and the shot. Goal, Juventus. Juventus produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it is a strong end product. Juventus draw first blood here. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Quadrado. Rabio.
And they've been caught out here. Juventus are enjoying a good spell right now and leading. Now that does look a foul if he's given a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Chance to shoot. Ah, it's a fine challenge and it goes his way. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Chiesa. Now it's Ramsey. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Keita goes up and over. Rabio. And it's Dybala. Chiesa. Gets it upfield. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Played out to the right. He's left his man. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be out-muscled. Gets it into the middle. That intervention was very necessary. Keen. Dybala. And the whistle goes for half time. So there you have it. Most sport half of football. Still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. It was a decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Juventus come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. Here we go again then. Juventus really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. Quadrado. Arthur drives it forward. He's there to receive it. by the keeper and he's cut it out and that's been lever clear forward it goes hoists it forward played back in Looks to clip it forward. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Arthur tries to get it forward quickly. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And it's Dybala. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. It's anyone's ball. Rabio. Key. Real chance! He has done it! A 
two-goal lead and they're firmly in control. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. His second of the game and an eye now for the hat-trick. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. <laughs> Juventus have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Well, it's great defensive work. It doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. And here's Dybala. Oh, good take in a good area. Oh, managed to get it away. And it's been taken straight back. Keen is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Well, his stealth has been compromised because of his goal. And his treatment from here looks as if it could get a little tighter. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Keen. Out to the left it goes. Looking to hit the front line. And it's played forward. And it's Pavoletti. Looking for space out wide. He gets past his man. Oh, defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And he's straight offside. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. He's made sure that that won't get through. Rabio. Ramsey goes looking. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Good save. He got a decent fist on that. Now it's Ramsey. That's a brilliant interception. Chance to break. That's a decent ball. No, no way through there. Keen. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Juventus their win on opening day. Perfectly teed up. If you look back on the game then, Jim. The pre-season and all that hard work has been worth it now. A winning start that gets everyone in the right mood. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.